thank you for carving out <laughs> thank you for carving out a little time out of your afternoon. My name is Michael Turner. It's my privilege to be the head of school here. Your first challenge is the kind of dissonance between seeing me hold a microphone and the fact that you don't hear my voice projected. <laughs> the reason we're doing that is we're doing we're filming this and making sure that the video picks up the sound. So if you don't hear my voice amplified, it's not because we have a bad sound system. We actually have a really good sound system, which makes it feel like we're right here together, but we can pick up the sound. So. So thanks for your understanding on that, and thanks again for being here. Um, I am not going to do a long intro because you don't really come to hear me. You want to hear about the students and all the cool work they're going to do. We'll have an opportunity at the end to do questions uh, and answers, uh, but we really want to get right to the students. Uh, prior to doing that, though, I'm going to ask just one thing out of the way of introduction and just kind of grounding us uh, in our mission. I'm going to take a page out of uh, Melissa Bergen, many of whom you know as a parent here and is on our board, did a really nice mission moment at the beginning of our board meeting last night. So I'm going to steal a page out of her playbook and have us do a similar thing right now and ask you to turn to someone you're sitting with. I'll give you instruction in a moment. And just turn to someone and share a mission moment with your neighbor. It's best w if you can do this with someone you don't know. If you're, so, so you're, if you're sitting with your spouse or someone else, try to turn in a different row and try and find somebody. That's all I'm going to tell you. So just think about something, and I'll give you a minute to think about this. Think about a moment. It could either relate to our mission, which uh, the three kind of parts of our mission uh, as you know, our educational excellence, compassionate participation in the world, and love of learning. You can also think about PERMA, which is our kind of our underpinning, our uh, social emotional underpinning from positive education, which talks about positive educa uh, positive emotions, engagement, relationships, meaning, accomplishment. All of that, if you can't remember any of the words I'm j I just said, it's what means what makes Shipley special to you. A moment that you witnessed or heard or something you felt that could be it could have been this morning, it could have been on the first day of school. But just give yourself a moment to think about that and then turn to someone and share that with them and let them share that with you. All right, and we'll just have that moment together and that'll ground us to, to hear what we're about to hear. So go ahead and find a, find, find a partner. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. So you just got to share a mission moment, hear a mission moment, and then live a mission moment. One of the things we do, one of the things you may have started, we've seen we've started to do um, in gatherings is that idea of you know, the person who's running the meeting to be able to just put their hand up silently and, and then it engages the crowd because then they participate too and it's just we're in this together. Right? And that relationship and, and creating that space to work together is really important for us and it's a gentle way to do that. So I hope that you just heard, uh, we had a chance to, re to share out and, re and hear reflected back to you some of, the some of the things that make this a special place. And with that, I'm gonna be true to my word and get out of the way and hand things off uh, to our students who are gonna share with you even more reasons why uh, this is such a wonderful place. So who's going first? I'm going to tell you about fifth grade advisory. Advisory is organized into small groups with a teacher in each group. We have advisory twice a rotation on SNP days, once during lunch and once in the afternoon. I am in Miss L's advisory and we have so much fun together. Our advisories also have great names like the trusty crusty tater tots, the old schoolers, and my advisory's name, and my, pr and my favorite, Peppo, what are you doing in my advisory? <laughs> in advisory, we talk about our character strengths, share stories about what we do outside of school, connect with each other, and learn about ourselves. We have also learned about and recently visited the Timothy School, which is a school for kids with autism. I really loved working with the kids. I liked how they were still learning even, the, even with autism and, the, and how the teachers helped the kids and helped us. Although I would love to say more, my good friends Taylor, Leela, and Will will tell you more about character strengths and our connection with the students at the Timothy School. Hi, my name is Taylor Brady and I have been at Shipley for three years. Today I will be talking about what we do in advisory with character strengths. My top two character strengths are love of learning and curiosity. I love math, and I think it's because I'm curious about numbers, and I really love multiplication and playing with numbers. As a part of an advisory, a few months ago, every fifth grader took a test to determine their top 24 character strengths. We did it at home with our parents and gave them to our teacher. We got them back in advisory and shared them with our our advisor and friends. We had a long list consisting about three pages, but those are just our top 24. 
There are hundreds of character strengths out there, and those 24 are most important, and everyone has them. Some strengths you are things you are really good at, and, s and others are things you are not as good at, but you can improve them. So just because you got humor as number 23 doesn't mean you're not funny. <laughs> Some people had the same order of strengths, like me and Will. We both had love of learning at number one and leadership at 24. We have been talking about character strengths for a long time and thinking about how we can use our top strengths and develop the ones we're not good at. I think we have been talking about this since October. I'm in the same advisory as Chloe, Em, and Will, and we love our name, Peppa, what are you doing my advisory? Another thing we did was visit the Timothy, sc Timothy School, which is a school we are good friends with. I wish to tell you more, but my friends, Will and Leela, are going to do that. Thank you for listening, and have a good day. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Leela Tsvetkov, and I'm in fifth grade. This is my second year at Shipley. My top two character strengths are love of learning and perseverance. I've used perseverance in fifth grade by keeping my locker and chair area organized. It always takes a few extra seconds to keep all of my belongings in place, but in the long run, it makes transitioning faster. Transitioning is also a skill that is very important in middle school, so better learn it now. <laughs> so far, fifth grade is super fun. However, I'd like to highlight our interaction with the Timothy School. The Timothy School is a school for kids with autism from ages six to 21. In SEED, we've talked about autism and how some kids just think differently than us. In our advisory, we wrote letters to an assigned kid. We introduced ourselves and even sent pictures. And the Timothy School kids wrote back to us too. We also get to visit the Timothy School twice this year. The week before our first visit, some of the staff came over to Shipley and we had an overview of what we were to expect of our visit. The best part was when we could test out some of the apps on our iPads, which the students with autism also use to speak and communicate. Our whole class did an interactive activity, and I started to realize that not being able to clearly communicate with words is a lot harder than you think. When the day of our visit came, everyone was super excited and a little bit nervous. As we started the activities, I had a lot of fun interacting with the kids. It made my day when a little girl smiled at me and hugged me. Just this week, we made holiday videos and sent them to the kids at the Timothy School. And our advisory made a very funny video that I hope everyone there will enjoy. The whole experience and interaction with the Timothy School has been a memorable experience that I will continue to cherish and remember. Thank you. Hi, my name is Will and I have been at the Shipley School for four years and I am in the fifth grade. My two top character strengths are love of learning and gratitude. I think I'm always participating during academic subjects, which is love of learning. Math is my favorite subject. Today I'll be ta talking about the Tim Timothy School visit. When we arrived at the Timothy School, we went to the cafeteria and made little projects. My partner Dan and I made maracas and drew a turkey. After that, we went to the gym. We walked around the gym three times and then played a game called Treasure Hunters. Some kids were pirates and some kids were treasure hunters, and the treasure hunters tried to steal the treasure while the pirates had to get it back. It was pretty fun but tiring. The Timothy School is important to me because many of the kids there are really nice and it's unfair they have to have autism. Autism is, is often viewed as strange, but I think I understand it well. My partner, Dan, was really nice and friendly, but he couldn't talk. Dan wasn't the only kid who I interacted with. It felt good to be interacting with the, with, with, wait, what? It felt good to be interacting with the kids from the Timothy School, just like talking to anyone different than you. It's like interacting with a new mind that thinks differently, and that really intrigued me. That is why I think I understand kids with autism better because I don't view them as strange and I knew they would be very fun to work with because they wouldn't judge me. Thank you for listening to my Timothy School speech. Uh, 
Um, so we continue to have a ongoing relationship with the kids at Timothy. And I will say, watching the fifth graders go there, they were nervous coming in. And we've gone, this is our third year working with them. And seeing once they're there and they settle in and they realize this is a school just like theirs, and watching the interactions with them is pretty powerful. And the feedback that we've gotten over doing this the last few years is that what the kids want is more opportunities to interact with the kids there. So we've reconfigured the program over the last few years to actually spend more time visiting there. And we hope their kids will actually come here this year because it's a personal relationship that the kids actually want. And I think that's where, um, that's where the learning is deepest. Um, so I think, I think they did a great job. Can you give them a round of applause, sir? <laughs> and I, I think we're going to be moving on, but I'd be happy to answer questions later on once the kids finish. So I think I'm going to pass it to the upper school. Um, <laughs> and so my experience with the art department relates directly to transfer goal number one, which is generate questions and solve problems through deep critical investigations. And so I read this and I was like, that's literally just the creative process that we all go through before every painting. So these are two of my many paintings. And so basically, we like before every piece, there's always frustrations and successes. So before we start, we do little like sketches to figure out your composition. And then by the end of that, you have pages and pages and pages of options and you have to pick which one. And so oftentimes you'll be like stuck between a few ideas. And if you need extra opinions, that's when you just kind of do a little, hey class, give me your opinion. And so that's how we oftentimes work through our issues and also crits. We do critiques, which is where we'll take all of our paintings to the end of the hall and hang them up and then we'll kind of go in a little circle. And if you have any questions like, hey, Alyssa, what do you think I should do with this part of my painting? Then the rest of your class can help and kind of give ideas. And so that is my favorite part of the art department, that you're kind of doing your own thing, but also like you have the support of your classmates and friends, especially when you need advice. Um, I'm Alyssa, and I'm going to be talking about how studio art relates to the transfer uh, goal number two, which is applying uh, interdisciplinary uh, pursuits to the art process and to like learning in general and how that relates to the real world. So a lot of my work centers around the idea of identity and about the idea of individuality and what it means to be a person and have, I guess, emotions, feelings, and I guess like inner selves. So this piece on the right, it's kind of merging uh, I think uh, the process of like graphite with also collage a bit because uh, by having like an absence of space, it's kind of creating a deeper meaning. I think that's really interesting and how that kind of ties into my other piece here, which is a gender series that uh, I worked to create to kind of, I guess, articulate the feelings of society and how culture kind of has an impact on one's own view of the self and especially uh, self-expression. And a lot of that, in my opinion, uh, is related uh, to kind of these symbols of, I have like recurring symbols of flowers and hands and jewelry. I think it's interesting how society kind of projects these meanings onto inanimate objects. And then we as like people and as members uh, kind of take that to heart and take that to meaning. And uh, talking with Miss O'Donnell yesterday, kind of uh, going through the middle end of the college process, uh, we all worked a bit with uh, art portfolios too and writing artist statements. And I think that what I really realized sitting down to write it, A, how easy it was not only to put words to my art, which generally art is kind of thought as, as a separate sphere from like the academic side, but I think that our art class and especially the things that we create as shown by like what I was thinking of and what Bella was thinking of uh, and what Charlotte does too, is bridging these uh, different things and finding like the intersection within that. And a lot of uh, what I use in art is to kind of learn about myself and to learn about the world around me. And it's really awesome because through doing the art program, I really found my passion for what I want to do in the future, which is to pursue both art and academics, kind of following on this line of like philosophy, communication, gender studies. And I'm really excited for the future to kind of continue this type of work.
still wants to save that. Okay. Okay. Here. I'll tell you about this big one. Um, okay, so I work in many different sizes. I don't know if anyone has been to the art room, but I actually have a piece that's 13 feet by six feet. So I work pretty big, but also pretty small. But anyway, I'm going to be talking about transfer goal number three, which is basically about communicating effectively through, uh, different, me through different means. And I think that art uh, does that. I think that art, uh, you communicate a message without any words and or you invoke feelings um, in the audience and also in myself. Uh, like for example, this one. I created during um, exams last year. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, um, you know, obviously, as any high schooler would be, I was pretty stressed out. And I wanted to put my feelings kind of not in words, but on the paper in a way. And I created something that I really loved. And um, it was a stress reliever for me personally, but I also think it. Um, it kind of portrays what I wanted to be at that moment in time. I wanted to be more happy, more fun, more free, and I think this painting kind of um, shows that, what I want it to be. Whereas this one, um, kind of, it combines my political beliefs and my, um, my love for history, I guess. Um, I don't know if you can tell, this is Marilyn Monroe. Um, <laughs> And um, you may not be able to see, but I have written on her cheek, she was asking for it, which obviously that's, that's a statement. Um, this uh, painting was for a project where we had to create um, a painting and then disrupt it in some way. And as you can see, I've already done kind of disrupting paintings before, so I wanted to go for s to do something subtle. And um, I, um, like I've, I consider myself a feminist and I'm a part of like, I s actively support the Me Too movement, and I think that I wanted to um, take someone that has been considered and still is considered one of the biggest sex icon icons of all time, Marilyn Monroe, and put this statement and label her on her cheek to kind of make people think about what that statement actually means and what it means to be considered a sex symbol um, because what someone's wearing and how they act doesn't doesn't say anything about what they deserve. So um, yeah, these are very different. And yeah, oh, I'm Charlotte Smith, by the way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. okay. Sorry, I forgot an important point, real quick. Um, I have an example actually that happened to me, I think Wednesday, that I think connects to a lot of the transfer goals. So this is what I'm working on right now and I have yet to disrupt it, but it's actually for, it's an assignment for an art school that I'm applying to. And I, the disruption includes fire, so I still have to figure out like how I'm gonna execute that properly. But I had an idea and then I got really frustrated with myself like close to tears, frustrated. I was like, I can't do it. They're not even gonna accept me anyways, I give up. And then I was in class and everyone was like giving me a bunch of good ideas and so that was the support I needed. And then after class I stayed for a little bit and Miss O'Donnell was like, okay, we are just gotta calm down for a second. And so I wrote down all of my ideas and then I kind of like eliminated them and so like the ones I didn't like. And so that is how I was working through my issue, and so now I have an idea that I'm actually very excited about, and hopefully the college will be excited about it too. 